Good morning. So this morning I'm off to inspect a vehicle. Uh, so I offer a pre-purchase vehicle inspection. So for uh, buyers of electric vehicles, um, they can pay me to go and inspect the vehicle on their behalf and I can check out the battery pack and all other things as well to uh, allow people to buy the vehicles from afar. And in this case, this really is afar because this chap who I'm going to um, go and inspect a vehicle for is currently aboard. So this morning, I'm off to Cardiff. I'm currently over here in Oxfordshire. Got to go across to Cardiff and go and inspect a Tesla Model S, which happens to be almost identical to the car I'm driving now. So I'm not sure yet how much I'm going to be able to film. Uh, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to be able to make this into a video, but I thought I will have a go and uh, bring you along with me. So I'm here. There's the car in front of me. Quite a rare uh, grey coloured model. So I'll crack on with it. So vehicle inspection done. I didn't do any filming, completely forgot that I was making a video at the same time. But anyway, on the drive back now, come to the M4 and now pulled in at Memby Services. The um, Tesla superchargers here are at the back of the building. So you're in the dumping ground at the back of the staff car park here. But anyway, uh, I've only got 4% left on the battery. So uh, I should have got off the stop before at Swindon but I'm absolutely desperate for the loo because as always the electric car can last longer than I can so I've done uh, near enough four hours driving and I was on uh, doing this car inspection for about an hour an hour and a half um, so I've driven past where I needed to get off just to get to Memby services here primarily because there's a toilet but anyway it's meant that the battery is lower because um, I would have got back so I'm going to do a rapid charge here and I get free supercharging so that's why uh, it was sort of a convenient place to stop so I'm going to plug in now but I'll also look at the charge speed with my new 85 kilowatt hour battery pack as well so um, unfortunately I haven't been able to watch the charging times uh, completely because I had to go to the loo um, but I did open up the app and tried to have a look at it in the app and I did see 104 kilowatt charging which uh, is actually very good for this car um, so obviously with the new battery or well, the reconditioned well let's say remanufactured battery is the proper term um, some of my charging issues have gone because I wasn't getting any more than uh, well, I know my last supercharge I did in the other, in the old battery, I was only getting about 22 kilowatt. But let's say uh, at this state of charge, I would have been up around the 60 kilowatt mark. So now I'm out over 100 and 104 kilowatt. So as we speak at the moment, my app is showing 85 kilowatt. And on the screen, actually it's dropped down to 80 there on the screen. And we are at 28% state of charge. So while it's not at the uh, sort of 120 that these cars were getting when they were new, obviously Tesla have throttled back the charging. Um, I'm quite happy with that. It's certainly performing much better than the uh, car was before on the old original pack. And if I look down here on the phone, not sure whether that is focusing. Let's try that. It's showing that we've added... Um, Oh, hang on, let me get that lined up. So it's showing us that we're now at 30% and we've charged at 302 miles an hour and we've added 20 kilowatt. And I've only been here for, um, I don't know, five minutes or so, just long enough to run in the services, use the loo, and then I grabbed a coffee on the way out, but I didn't stand in the queue because it's so busy in there. I went to a machine in a Waitrose where there was no waiting at all. I grabbed the coffee, went straight to the till. So I was only in there for no more than five minutes, maybe less. So I'm happy with these charging rates I'm seeing now. We're now down to 76 because as the battery fills up, obviously your charge rate comes down. Uh, the fans are all on. I can hear the, there's quite a lot of um, noise coming from the front and there's a bit of a vibration here coming up in the steering wheel but obviously all the circulation fans are on pumping that coolant around cooling everything down um, because I have been doing a motorway drive for the last um, what's that been one and a half hours before charging uh, so as well as the battery getting low it was high speed driving so obviously that pack was very hot 
So we're a few minutes on at 38% state of charge and the charging rate has dropped down to 66 kilowatt. But all the pumps and fans are still going on the car so uh, obviously this battery is hot and I'd imagine probably not charging at its maximum charge rate because uh, I would guess the battery is a bit hotter than it should be to achieve that rate. So we're now at 43% state of charge. The charge rate is 60 kilowatt. Well, actually it's just dropped to 59 there. But over the last two minutes, the fans have all slowed down and you can hear the pumps slowing down, slowing their speeds down and they've just gone off. Well, probably not gone off completely, but they're not now, uh, you can't now hear them from inside the cabin. So obviously the battery's cooled down now. Um, but the charge rate hasn't dropped anymore. It's still charging at 59 kilowatt and saying we have added 30 kilowatt in total in the time I've been here. And that's 13.41 on the clock. So I'll look back and see what the time was when I got here. Um, but yeah, 30 kilowatt in however many minutes that's been, which is probably 15 or 20 minutes or so. So we're now at 47%, as you can see. The charge rate has been flicking between 57 and 58 kilowatt pretty much all that time. It's been going up and down. It's now currently at 56 kilowatt. So it's not dropping too much. It seems to be maintaining that sort of um, near 60 kilowatt charge rate for quite a, a while. So I don't need to sit here and charge to the um, state of charge uh, threshold I've got set. That's more than enough now for me to get back. So uh, I'll end it here. So um, my view of the charging rates now on these older Tesla Model S's, um, there's a lot of people are upset that Tesla have throttled back the charge rates, but they've done it for a reason. They've done it to protect the battery pack and maintain uh, the life of the batteries, to make the batteries last longer. If they hadn't have done that and people were having uh, failed batteries or um, heavily degraded batteries just out of warranty, you know, the same people would be even more upset. So in my mind, I'm quite happy that Tesla have throttled back the charging on these cars because they're being... Um, they're being active, they're doing something about it because obviously they've got the, down, the over the air updates. They can change the parameters of the car and download these changes to all the cars. What they should have done though is communicated it better and maybe given the customers a bit of information. That's the thing that Tesla are lacking. They could so easily send you a message in the app or send all their customers an email to let you know the plans. And if they'd have said, well, on all Model S's, of a certain vintage we're going to do this because it's going to prolong the life of the car and giving you the reasons i'm sure most of those customers would have been happier instead what they see is suddenly slower charging after an update um, so generally i'm happy with this slower charging i would much favor slower charging than um, a poorer battery pack over time particularly now in this car that they have replaced my battery under warranty i'm now going to keep this car for a long time for many many years um, and maybe even hand it down to my kids or something um, because this is a, a keeper now because it's got a, a new battery and a new motor under warranty so the longevity of this car is quite important to me and to be honest i don't do rapid charging very often 99 percent of all the charging is done at home overnight while i sleep so the few times that doing a longer trip and in this car I mean over 200 miles, then uh, those few times where you do need to rapid charge, you know, if it takes, in this case, it's going to take 45 minutes to get it back up to that uh, state of charge. In uh, a lot of times you don't need to sit there that long, you know, maybe a 20 or 30 minute charge is adequate. The reality is in those times, you need that sort of amount of time after driving. In this case, I've been driving two, three, three and a half hours, you know, to go into the services, use the loo. Um, it is lunchtime now, so I could have got some lunch. You know, easily 20 minutes of that time would have just been spent in those services over there. So um, 
you know, whether a charge is going to take 20 minutes or 40 minutes, you know, doesn't, in reality, doesn't really make much difference. Um, if you couldn't charge your electric car from home and you were completely reliant on superchargers, i.e. DC rapid charging, then yes, and therefore uh, you were having to wait for these charges every time, then yes, I could see it would be a pain. But what we're talking about here is a, um, a seven and a half year old EV that only had 128 kilowatt maximum charging speed in the first place when it was new, and it's now charging at just over 100 kilowatt. So I'm quite happy with that. And uh, I, as I said, I much, f I much rather favor longevity than um, outright performance and charging speeds. So this video has ended up being about uh, charging speeds on old Tesla Model S's, but um, I will just wrap it up now. We're currently at 53% state of charge. So our battery's gone from three or 4% up to 53%. We've added 37 kilowatt hours of energy. Um, if I wanted to sit here, it's got 20 minutes remaining to get it up to there. But um, in the, 25 minutes or so that I've sat here we've added 38 kilowatts so that's more than enough for me to disconnect carry on with my journey and actually I've got enough to, to last for the next couple of days of local driving as well but then the other key thing here's what I will add it hasn't cost any money either so that is a huge benefit uh, on an older Tesla that the supercharging is free um, so in my mind, I've got no reason to quarrel with Tesla over charging speeds when I'm getting free supercharging as well. Um, so anyway, that will do for this video. I started off thinking I would be filming a um, vehicle inspection. I've completely forgot about that during the day. So I've ended up filming charging speeds, which I know a lot of people were interested in anyway, probably only the Tesla Model S drivers. Um, so that's it. Uh, if you like the video, please do click the thumbs up. Bit of a weird video, this one. But anyway, uh, do subscribe if you haven't. Lots of videos on the channel already. And I'll see you on the next one.